Keep this station open for at least five years, so a moratorium on its demolition. Napier had, or Hawke's Bay, sorry, had the highest percentage increase in burglaries during 2016, 2015. We've got problems with pee, we've got problems with burglaries, we've got problems with gangs, all issues that, that an under-resourced police is really struggling to deal with. The men and women themselves are fantastic on the front line. They do a brilliant job, they're committed to the communities they serve and they're committed to New Zealand police. We just need more of them. Now, the Commissioner and the Minister have both assured me that Hawke's Bay is a high priority area for more police and we are going to get them. So what I have said, well what I've asked, requested of the Commissioner of Police, that this building behind us here, this is the old Napier Police Station, okay? It's a big building, it's been here since I was growing up, there's no doubt about that, so at least 50 years. Um, this is going to come down, it's going to be demolished. So I've said to the Police Commissioner, hey look, how about this for a solution? You're going to have more police here, obviously we want them out and about in the community, but they need a base. Keep this station open for at least five years, so a moratorium on its demolition. And he said to me, you know, we've got a bit of a problem. If we do that, then we haven't got car parks for the little wee police station that's built at the end of it. So I spoke to the, the Mayor of Napier, Bill Dole, and said, Bill, we have an issue here. You reckon there's a solution? He said, perfect solution. The Napier City Council owns a whole lot of car parks just near this building. Bill said to me, we will come up with a deal where we will lease the police these car parks at a discounted rate over a period of time. It will cost more to demolish this building than it will cost to lease those car parks. We get more police, we have a police station that doesn't cost a cent to house them, we have parks for police vehicles, and the people in the communities of Napier can once again feel safe in the knowledge that the police are out there looking after them.